There we go. We're inside. <laughs> Waiting for the seat. That's a really cool feature. Okay, I, know I didn't have it in the Volvo and I didn't have it in the Freightliner, but it's got the memory air. So wherever I set this, when I get out, it drops to the bottom. So it makes getting in and out of the truck easier. And here's another thing about this that, that I really, really enjoy. And it is, it is just a little feature that, it's not even worth a dollar, but it, it's, it's this here. Okay, my Kenworth didn't have it. The Volvo didn't have it. The freight shaker doesn't have it. I am a driver that I enjoy driving with my window down and I like to have my arm on the, wind, uh, arm on the windowsill. And it's really convenient because your hand and your arm rest perfectly and it's comfortable as hell. I could drive down the highway for eight hours nonstop like this and not have to move. It, it's, I, I really do, I like this. It's a, it's a comfortable feature. Now. The inside, um, we're gonna talk about the front first. Again, this is the VIT package, uh, so it's fully loaded. We'll show you a little later, but like th this is real leather. This isn't pleather, this isn't vinyl. It, it, this is real leather on the inside of this thing. This is leather, this, this is leather. Steering wheel wrapped and stitched leather. Like these are just, this is what you're paying for, but that it's here, it, it really is, and it's comfortable. We're looking, first thing I'm looking at here is, and we're gonna just turn the key to the accessor, uh, accessories, is let's, uh, let's take a look at the dash. I've yet to, uh, to look at this thing yet, um, but from what I understand, it is 100% digital. Myself, personally, I've always shied away from that because it's just one more thing to go wrong. It's one more sensor, it's one more piece of technology. Everything on it, every single gauge on this thing is digital. For me, do I like it? Based on looking at it right now, I can make out at a quick glance what everything is. You know, you've got your, your gauges um, that are usually on, on most trucks. You've got your oil temp, your air, both your air tanks, your, your oil pressure, fuel tanks, your brake, brake applied, your air filter, coolant temperature, and your boost on your turbo. Now you can go into the features on this. You can go into the screen and you can change these around. I'm not going to, I don't own this truck, uh, so I'm not gonna play with this. Chances are, because I don't know jack about it, I'm liable to screw something up and I won't be able to put it back and fix it. But just as a standard package, this is the way it came. This is what I'm looking at. You know, I've got my speedometer and my tack in the middle. It tells me what gear I'm in. Okay, it tells me my adaptive cruise control is on. It tells me that whether one door or not is open. Nice touch, not necessary, but it's a nice touch. Again, you're paying for it, it's there. Uh, when you're paying that kind of dollars. Everybody, including Kenworth, needs to learn from Volvo. And I, I hate to say this, but Volvo's got the pedal down here. You push the pedal and you adjust your telescopic steering wheel however you want. Freightliner's got that handle down there and so does Kenworth. But let's take a look. In and out, up, down. All right, pretty standard, not bad. Um, let's put it at, say, as if I was driving. Let's get it at a comfortable and reach down and lock it in place. It's solid, it's good. Um, steering wheel is good. Through the top of the steering wheel, I have a full view of the cluster. Not bad. Freightliner's the same way. I, the steering wheels are all steering wheels. They're designed the same way to do that. Um, but for me to drive this truck down the road right now, whether I've got it a 10 and two or whether I've got the old hangar going, I can see the cluster. I can see everything that's going on. It's good. I was afraid when I saw that it was gonna be a digital, I was afraid that it was gonna to be too much bling, too many colors. From what I can tell on this one, there's three colors. They've got the red, white, and blue. I guess uh, they, 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 they kept it simple. I think on, on the Volvos, with the, with the new Volvos, there's a couple more colors. There's some oranges and there's not. You know what, man, I'm getting old and tired. My eyes don't need that kind of distraction. I would rather be, I'd like to be able to look at it, know what I'm looking at and get my eyes back on the road. I don't, I don't need to be distracted by an orange bling over here, a red bling over here, blue, green, purple, pink, frig whatever. Just, just this is all right. Um, do I like the digital? I myself personally, I would rather still have gauges, but hey, this is, uh, as Ronan says, and it pains me to say, this is the new age and I guess I got to follow along, right? 
I'm being, I'm slowly being dragged into the new century. And it's hurting me, it really is, but I'm getting there. Just be patient, I'll get there eventually. It looks okay, in my opinion, and it will do the job. It, it will suffice. Listen to me, it's gonna suffice. Yeah, 200,000, but ah, it'll suffice. No, it, it's, it's a good job, it works. What? You still here? Come on, man, what do you want from me? I gave you, ah, never mind. Listen, 19.9% of you, let's say 20% of you are already subscribed, and for that we thank you. 80% of you aren't, you're taking a free ride. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and give us a like. See you down the road. Windscreen. Windshield. I've got zero blind spots. Both pillars, I haven't driven the truck yet, and we're gonna take it for the drive, but both pillars don't seem to be a problem. I got, you know, I don't have to stand up out of my seat to see around something like that. I can just give it a quick, no problem. I can see the mirror. I can see over the mirror. I've got the, this one has the, comes with the hood mirrors on it. And I use those. It's a good feature and I use them. These ones here are well placed. I've got a good view out of both of those mirrors. It's really good. So yes, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I, like I've said before with the fishbowl effect, I can sit here and I've got a good view a good panoramic view of everything around me right back to the, the back the, the, the back of the doors or where the window of the doors. From where I got, I've got a good, uh, a, a good field of view. Let's talk about the seat. Let's talk about the seat. This one here, it comes with heated seats. It also comes with air conditioned seats. Now I've never had AC in my seat. That means I got a cool ass. Hey, hey, guess who's got a cool ass? I do but it's a nice feature. I know that because I do flatbed, I get up in the morning, I do my pre-trip, I might have to drive to the customer, I gotta unload. It's, you know, for if you're in Canada, it's, it's 35 degrees. If you're in America, it's 91 degrees, uh, depending Celsius or Fahrenheit, um, but it's hot, you know? So I offload my trailer, I then gotta get it back into my truck, I gotta drive whatever I gotta drive, 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, whatever, I gotta go get a reload. I have to reload that afternoon, and then I have to drive some more. If I don't have a shower readily available to me, I'm hot. This is a nice feature, and now I've not used it, but I am going to. We're gonna turn all these seats on and everything when, when we take this thing for a drive, and uh, I'll let you know how cool my butt really is, whether it's a cool, cool butt or just a cool butt. But we'll find out, but we'll find out. That was funny as hell. I don't know why you're not laughing. I'm killing myself inside. Other than that, the seat is comfortable. I'm one of those guys that I can sit in the seat now and go, oh yeah, it's a comfortable seat. Let me run 30,000 miles in it and I'll tell you if it's a comfortable seat. That's, that's the only way I can tell you. Does it work? Yeah, it, you know, it's got a dozen adjustments on it. I can up and down. I can move this, the, the pan out in and out a bit. I can tilt it backwards and forwards. I can add lumbar all the way up the back. I think there's three lumbar settings, two lumbar settings here. It's comfortable. Um, this one actually comes with both armrests. Now I myself, I don't use both armrests when I drive, but I do use one uh, on occasion. It's a nice feature. And with this truck here, 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 I can still, you know, okay folks, I know 10 and two drive down the road. You show me any of you that are driving 10 and 2, 24 hours a day, seven days a week down the road. You don't do, you know, but it's a nice, you can, you're comfortable, armrest, armrest. You got your hands on the wheel, you're driving, you're talking on the phone, you're listening to music. It's, it's comfortable. So it, it's a nice little feature. Okay, so let's take a look at the console here. Um, shut up. Um, the console on this is, is fairly well designed in my opinion. Um, he thinks so too. Not bad, eh? Good job, Kenworth. Anyway, I like the fact that all of the switches for everything that you want to do is in a straight line and everything is well marked. Very well marked. It is on the switch of, wh of what it does. I just turned the hill assist off, which I don't think we have to worry about. We're on flat ground. Anyway, everything is in a line. It's, it's very well marked. It's easy to see. I can see everything while driving. I can be driving along here. I can look down to have a quick look, eyes back on the road. I can see, I can grab, I can touch anything I need to do in a split second. 
I like that. I like that about the Freightliner too. The Freightliner has the same thing. All of the dials for the AC uh, and your temperature controls, everything is right at arm's length. I don't have to bend over. I don't have to do this. I don't have to stretch. Everything is right here. I can just, I don't need, and once you know your truck, you don't even have to take your eyes off the road. You can be driving and, you know, turn the switch, turn the knob, turn this. Okay, adjust that, whatever like this. And once you know your truck, it becomes a lot easier. This one just comes with a standard, uh, well, I don't know who makes the stereo. It says Kenworth on it. And I know they don't make, I know Kenworth doesn't make stereo. So they bought it from somebody, but it's, uh, it's got, uh, you know, Bluetooth. It's got Sirius on it. AM, FM, CD. Anybody remember what a CD is? Hey, anybody know, remember what a tape cassette is? I still got an eight track player. Anybody got one of those? My camera girl is shaking her head going, no, don't know what an eight track is. I got a reel to reel in my basement. Anybody know what a reel to reel is? She doesn't have a clue. She has a record player. I don't have a record player. Actually, my daughter has a record player, believe it or not. And she, that's what she plays her Zeppelin records on. Anyway, console setup, good. Your headlights right here, easy. All your lights on, your, uh, your four ways, easy on, easy off. There is a, a console here, it's a display screen. And on it, um, there are a whole ton of options in there. Now for which I'm not gonna go into. Okay, if you buy the truck, you go in and play with it. But it does have a nav, this, whole, this thing has a whole nav package on it. So you've got your built-in GPS. You can probably have your regular GPS, but this thing comes with a nav package in it. And from what I understand is before you buy the truck as you're leaving, they will update it. So it's got the most updated maps and, and, and nav available. Um, you can go in and uh, I think from here, you can go in and adjust your gauges and whatnot. You can go in and play with the stereo, your, your, you know, go in your equalizer and all that kind of crap. You can, you control your Sirius FM XM from there. You can also go in, your Bluetooth is in there. Uh, other than that, I'm really not going to go into it, but it's got a lot of stuff in there. Um, you probably go in take a day and a half and <laughs> it's going to take you to go in, set it all up and then you can truck down the road and you're ready to go. But it's, it's, I, I'm not going to say, is it easy to read? Sure, I guess it's easy to read. It's it's right there. It's if 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 you're using the GPS, you'd be driving. Quick look, back up. Quick look, back up. All right, I got no problem with that. I myself personally, I would prefer the GPS that would either be here or something like that. So I'm not looking down. I don't want to look down. I'd like to look over. Good, look over. Good, we're good. But for what it is, good job. It's all right. No bad. Other than that, everything here is it's easy to see. It's easy to understand. It wouldn't take you long to figure out, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'd be okay with that. I'm okay to drive this truck. And look at that. That's the CB. How cool is that? That is something that I, it's a pet peeve of mine in the Freightliner and kind of in the Volvo as well is that you don't have access to your CB. This CB is easy. I've got the, I've got the, the, the mic out of the way because we're shooting, but the mic hangs here, so you've got your cord here. But I didn't know what this done does, and because I'm a, I'm a little boy at heart, I had, saw a button and I had to push it. I pushed it, and the CB slides out. So if I buy a new CB and I want to put it in there, I don't have to start messing around with screws or anything like that. I slide this out, undo the Velcro strap, unhook my cable, my wires, my connections, my power, and my mic, put it all back together, slide it in, good deal it looks good it's nice and neat i like that me i'm all about nice and neat i don't want wires i don't want complications that looks good not a bad deal on that so between the seat the steering wheel the dash it's a nice looking truck it seems like it's going to be pretty functional so when we take it for a drive we'll let you know um, but just off the hop good deal you get in and out the doors everything's solid it's a brand new truck so obviously there's no drafts blowing through here so i can't tell you about that but uh Let's go and uh, take a look in the back and we'll let you know how that is. I just, I'm just gonna play with everything. There's just so much cool shit in here. Anyway, give me a comment, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, we'll see you down the road.